Hello guys, today I will be showing you how to draw a house using JavaScript. For this case, I will be using a JavaScript library called P5. You can download it from the official website. So I already downloaded it. It's here, it's p5.js. So I will link it first. I will say p5.js. And then... I'll be using my script tag. Sorry. Control S. So inside here, I'll be using P5 predefined functions. I'll be using those functions to draw my house. I'll be using two functions. Let me show you. One is function setup then the other is function draw here function setup it's called once so it's where you will be creating your canvas from and here function draw it's where you'll be drawing your elements your shapes and other objects so this for this function draw it's it's in it's in a loop so it to be called continuously well this one is called once so I'll be using this one to draw to, to draw my canvas let me say create canvas it's a function in p5 so I'll, it takes two parameters the x length and y length so for this case i'll be using 800 and 600 and then i'll give it a background of black of black let me show you how it looks like here it is this is our canvas with the black black background so let me show you let me start drawing for drawing a, a house i will start with the roof while going down it's be top to down procedure so let's get started so i'll start with drawing a triangle but before that i'll first assign a color to my shape i'll take fill is a function in p5 it takes three parameters the uh, it takes three parameters in the form of rgb red green and blue so you define the amount of red amount of green and amount of blue or you can even give it one parameter as for now i'm taking this rgb format three parameters i'll say i want it 12 255 reds, zero blues, and 25 greens. And then I'll start by drawing my triangle. Triangle is a function in P5. It takes three parameters, six parameters x1, y1, x2, y2 x3 y3 the same as you do in math while plotting during plotting in graphs you give them the x coordinate y coordinate x coordinate y coordinate but these are the corners first corner second corner and third corner so let me assign values to these coordinates i'll start with 250 100 and then 150 300 350 and 300 reason as to why these have the same y coordinates because i want our triangle to be flat let me show you what i mean let me see so here it is this is it 
y coordinate of 300 the same as this so this is our triangle i gave it a red color so let me now draw the other parts let me draw a rectangle for a rectangle i will use rect for the rectangle it's kind of it's kind of different for it it takes four parameters the x coordinate y coordinate length width sorry width and length that's it, it takes four parameters so let me declare these parameters i'll say 170 300 160 130 so here is our rectangle but it's serving the same red color i can change this if i in case i want so let me show you how to change the color of this rectangle for this i'll go on and i'll say fill And give it a color that I prefer. For this, I'll give it zero reds, that a green, and one eight blue. Let me show you. It's going to be in color blue. Here it is. That's it. I'm done with our rectangle. So let me add windows to this. First of all, I will say fill assign a color to our windows let me say 255 in case you oh by the way these parameters range from 0 to 1 to 255 where 0 is black and 255 is white so i'm assigning a white color to my windows so let me call my windows by calling this function rect and then i'll give it 180 x and 350 y coordinate and then we give it a width of 30 and length of 30 so let me show you how it looks like here it is this is our first window i have two windows in my sketch so let me draw the second window for the second window i will just copy this and paste it below and say let me say let me do this and save 380 and save let me see how it looks oh it's outside my body so let me kind of reduce this let me say 280 there it is perfectly fine so someone may ask me why i haven't declare the color for this second rectangle in p5 once you declare a color on top this color will be applied to the follow to the shapes below it but in case you want to override this first color that's when you have to redeclare another color below this let me see let me try to show you fill Thirty-seven. Let me save and show you. Now you see my second window is gray. So this second function here of fill is overriding this first. But in case I don't include it, the second window will also take this first color. So I want my windows to be in the same color. So I'll just save this. And it will go back to my white color there it is let me add a dot to this for the door i'll give it a color of safe fill and say zero 150 greens and 19 blues and then i'll also use the same rectangle function of rect and then say 225 350 350 
40 or our width and 80 our length so this is our x coordinate y coordinate our width and length let me save so there it is that is our house so that was it for today thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video